Yo, what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul The Tech Giant, welcome back to the channel, where tonight I'm gonna to be conducting another monthly screen uniformity and burning test on my 65 inch LG C10 OLED. Now I say it's a monthly test, but it's been a little bit longer than that since the last time I've done one of these. I say it's been about five and a half weeks. And uh, usage wise, it's gone up a bit more than the previous month uh, due to it being Christmas and all that. Um, last time we were sitting at around 1,500 hours of screen on time, and uh, I estimate it's gone up by around a further 250 hours. So bringing that total screen on time to approximately 1,750 hours. And this is month six of these tests. Content wise for the last month has been a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, lots of movies over the Christmas period, as you can imagine. Um, also quite a bit of gaming once again. I know a lot of you guys ask me about gaming with these TVs. We've been using the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X quite a bit. So it uh, should be interesting to see once again how this TV uh, has been doing over that period with all those uh, sort of heads up displays and whatnot. Um, also, we've had an update this month, and I'll just quickly uh, show you guys what that is uh, for anyone who is interested to uh, know what I'm running at the moment. So we go to software update there, and uh, as you can see, we're on 03.21.16. And uh, just quickly, whilst we're on this subject of updates, um, a lot of you guys were uh, concerned that when I announced that new update that you guys wasn't receiving it. Um, just wanna point out that not everyone gets it at exactly the same time. It's just really random how it happens. So don't panic if I ever announce it's a new update and I've got it and you haven't. It's, you know, nothing strange going on or not lying or anything like that. It just, it goes out to people real randomly. So just, you know, keep checking for it manually if you've got the automatic updates turned off. And it will pop up over time. I know a lot of you guys have been contacting me since then. Yes, you have now got that update. But I just wanted to point out that, you know, do not panic if I announce that there is an update and it's not there straight away. It may, may take a couple of weeks, but you will get it eventually. Moving along then, and we're gonna start off this test as we usually do with a 5% grayscale. Now, Last month and, well, pretty much every month, you guys have been asking me how I run these tests, where do I get these like test patterns from or whatever. So I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description to a video that I have made showing you how you can do these tests yourselves and uh, all the links are provided within that video. So uh, go check it out. So as we can see, we have got the two regular dark patches that always seem to make an appearance every time I conduct one of these tests. So on the left hand side, we've got a patch sort of just there and there, sort of, it's almost like one patch, but with two darker areas within it. And then on the right hand side, we have a uh, darker area that stretches from the bottom, moving up, but as it moves up, it tends to thin out. And uh, a lot of you guys have been contacting me in the comment section saying that you get exactly the same patches in exactly the same places. So it just seems to be one of those things, whether it's like a manufacturing defect or not, I've not got a clue, but it isn't just me who seem to have those two patches. Um, also, as we can see, we do have some uh, vertical banding going on just there, but Overall, I don't think that has really changed uh, at all since last month. Next up, we have the color sweep. And as I always do, I'm gonna let this rotate through once, and then we will stop it on some colors and take a close look, go in really close, look at areas that potentially would have any burning from static images and uh, potentially any dead pixels also, because uh, for anyone who doesn't follow the channel, on one of my previous OLEDs, I did have some dead pixels that we uh, picked up when we ran one of these tests. Now what I've done is paused on a nice bright white. We're gonna go in nice and close to look for any signs of burning or dead pixels. So start from the top left and moving along. And please put a comment in the comment section if you do notice anything untoward. 
I have just had a quick look at the screen myself and I did think I found a dead pixel, but in fact, it was just a little tiny bit of muck on the screen. So uh, don't panic if you do think you found a dead pixel because uh, you might wipe it and find it's just a tiny little mark. So uh, just a bit of a uh, tip there for you. Moving up the uh, left hand side now then. And that, just look at the center there. All looks good. Next up we have a blue. So once again, let's go in nice and close. And I always like to pay particular attention to the corners where you tend to get your static logos. So maybe like up here, you might have like the channel name or something like that. Um, but so far, that all looks good. So bottom right, moving along. Like we said, quite a bit of gaming. So uh, a lot of Call of Duty. And maybe, you know, you'd think there'd be something on the screen from playing many hours of that. But so far on those colors, that all looks spot on. Green is the next color up. And uh, top left again, we shall start. And uh, I do keep getting comments from uh, people every time I do one of these tests saying, you know, what's the point in this test? Show us the panel, you know, in three years time or something. But uh, at the end of the day, it's the amount of hours that are put on the panel that really count, not the amount of time. I mean, I could have the TV in the box for three years, get it out. Don't mean that, you know, the panel has uh, done well over three years if it's just been sat there doing nothing. Um, but like I keep saying to everyone, I do this to document what is going on. So no one can accuse me of cheating in any way. If we do find anything, you know, you will be the first to know like I am. And... Uh, we then know if anything does happen, exactly how many hours, what sort of uh, conditions I've been using the TV in um, for that to occur. Well, looking at that green, that will look good as well. Red is gonna be our final color to test. And uh, please excuse it if it looks a little bit pinky, that's just my camera in person. It looks a nice deep red. Now I have got another idea for a video that I thought I'd just run past you guys and that's to uh, potentially do like an intensive gaming test with this TV. So I'm thinking maybe playing the same, playing the same game for say like 10, even 12 hours straight, no turning off the TV or anything like that, um, no switching of games and uh, just seeing how the TV fares if I run a test, you know, sort of immediately after I've... Uh, shut that console off and uh, you know, see if anything does burn in. I don't really want to damage me panel, but so many people say, you know, I want to play a game for so many hours at a time. Is it going to do any damage if I sit there playing it? So uh, if you'd like to see me do that test, then please uh, leave a comment below and uh, let me know what game that you uh, want to see me play. You know, something that's really going to uh, put this TV to the test, you know, lots of static logos, sort of heads up displays and all that. There's no point in me testing some of constant moving images because that's not really gonna uh, produce any burning as such. So, you know, think of a game that uh, I could get hold of and, uh, you know, really give this TV a run for its money. Well, there you go then guys, that is the testing complete. And uh, well, it's good news and bad news. Well, good news is that uh, there is nothing to report. The bad news is, well, there's nothing to report. So really, it's a little bit boring. Uh, it'd be interesting if something was to happen uh, with this TV, but nothing is happening. No dead pixels, no burning, no nothing. It's just doing what it should do. So, uh, you know, realistically, that is a positive outcome, but a boring one at the same time. Well, there you go then, guys. 
Now, if you've enjoyed this video and you appreciate these tests that I'm doing, I would really appreciate a thumbs up back. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.